so today we are going to start a, a new topic that is the next application of diode that is clamping application okay and that is also your experiment number 4 so a uh, clamper is defined as it is a network constructed of a diode a resistor and a capacitor so three things are required diode one resistor and one capacitor that shifts the waveform to a different dc level without changing the appearance of the applied signal so unlike clipper circuit this clamper circuit does not change the appearance of the applied signal okay clipper circuit was clipping the input waveform so the appearance of the applied signal was changed but in this case this circuit clamping circuit is only changing the dc level okay for example if this is the input waveform i have considered a square wave with maximum amplitude plus vm and minimum that is in negative direction that is minus vm so a symmetric square wave with time period t okay so positive clamp suppose i want to shift this waveform to uh, towards the positive side upward direction so i will use the technical word positive clamp i want to positively clamp this waveform okay so v out sorry uh, yes so what i have to do i have to add a dc level to this input waveform so v in plus v dc okay so this waveform will be shifted in the upward direction by this amount v dc amount so the output waveform will be something like this so this will be v out so now this is this earlier this was vm now this maximum point will be vm plus vdc okay so vdc is added to this uh, this signal and vdc is also added to this signal so we have at this point we have minus vm plus vdc so you can see that the appearance of the waveform is not changed only the dc level okay in this the dc level was zero so dc level in this signal is zero in this we have added a uh, dc quantity okay so that signal is shifted in the positive direction that is upward vertically upward by this same amount vdc and if i want to shift this waveform to downwards direction i will use the word negative clamp and uh, what i have to do i have to subtract the dc quantity v dc from the input signal so v out should be v in minus v dc so this will be your output signal okay so each and every point will be subtracted by this amount v dc so now this maximum value will be v m minus v dc and this will be minus v m minus v dc so you can see that this swing Okay, this is the maximum point. This is the minimum point. So this is called swing. This is two vm. Okay, here also the swing is vm minus vdc and this quantity. So the difference is of two vm, and here also the swing is of two vm. So the swing does not change. the appearance does not change what is changed thus just the reference point okay it is a kind of a reference shift okay you can say that the waveform is shifted in the upward direction by vdc amount or the reference is this reference is shifted in the downward direction by uh, minus vdc amount okay where the, both are relative things and in this you will say in opposite way okay so now you have two type of clamping action positive clamp and negative clamp so this can be performed by using either positive clamper or negative clamper 
So this is a very simple circuit for positive clamper and this is negative clamper. You can see that a negative clamper derived a negative clamper can be derived from the positive clamper just by reversing the connection of the diodes or vice versa or positive clamper can be derived from negative just by reversing the connection of the diode just all things are same okay so input voltage source square wave sine wave triangular wave any ac wave you can consider any ac wave but uh, initial at initial stage a square wave is considered for simplicity so a square wave like this with vm in the positive direction and minus vm in the negative direction with time period t and uh, a capacitor with the diode okay n side connected to the positive this this upward line we consider this as positive so this n side is connected to this line and this p side is connected to this line downward line okay and it is a easy way to remember this like this is like a arrow this arrow is directing upward so it will shift the waveform in the upward direction okay okay so you don't get confused people a student often get confused whether this is positive or negative so it is a simple way that this is arrow this is directing upward so it will shift the waveform in the upward direction and uh, this is the output waveform so if this is vm v out will be v in plus vm this vm is the maximum value okay this this is vm plus v m where vm is the maximum value of this input waveform okay so the resultant waveform will be something like this so vm get added by vm so here we will have two times vm and at this point minus vm get added by plus vm we have zero so zero here so 2 vm zero 2 vm zero so we have a square wave with voltage swing 2 vm okay the time period of this wave will be also equal to t just the waveform is shifted in the upward direction by this vm amount okay so this circuit what this circuit is doing this circuit is deciding the level of shift by the magnitude of input signal itself okay we don't have to provide any external source to provide this shift okay this circuit will itself analyze this vm and it will add this vm to the input voltage itself and the output voltage will be something like this and this circuit will work in opposite manner okay so same input waveform is Uh, provided to this yes rishab i am coming to you so same uh, input waveform is provided to this circuit okay and v out will be v in now this time it will be v in minus v of m where vm is again this quantity okay so you can see that vm this vm minus vm so at this interval 0 to t by 2 we will have zero and from t by 2 to t we will have minus vm minus vm that will be equal to minus 2 vm okay yes rishab sir capacitor ka kaam kya hai yahan pe matlab kar kya raha hai wo exactly ha abhi iske functioning pe aayenge hum abhi iski functioning samjhayi nahi maine okay sir we will derive this how this is possible Okay, please raise down your hand, Ayush. Ah, uh, sir, ये negative clamped wall से बाहर आ। Hello. Ah, uh, sir, sir, I am audible. Yes. Ah, uh, sir, I was saying that. Ah, uh, please uh, just explain negative clamped again. Yeah, yeah, please. I will explain the functionality. Don't worry. I I am going to take this. Ah, uh, uh, once again, I will explain this waveform and uh, in detail. I am going to okay. uh, derive this waveform. You don't need to worry about yeah. that. ओके सर ओके अभी तो जस्ट मैं एग्जांपल आपको दे रहा हूं कि करता क्या है ये सर्किट एक्शन ओके तो मैं एक बार फिर से समझा देता हूं जैसा कि आपने कहा है और फिर हम देखेंगे इसकी फंक्शनलिटी ओके ओके सो वंस अगेन आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस ओके सो सेम इनपुट वेवफॉर्म अ स्क्वायर वेव विद 
पॉजिटिव मैग्नीट्यूड वी एम नेगेटिव मैग्नीट्यूड माइनस वी एम सो सिमेट्रिक स्क्वायर वेव विद टाइम पीरियड टी विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू दिस सर्किट ओके एंड वॉट दिस सर्किट विल डू दिस विल सब्सैक्ट दिस वी एम ओके इन दिस केस इट वॉज एडिंग वी एम टू द इनपुट सिग्नल दिस सर्किट विल सब्सैक्ट दिस वी एम ओके सो वी इन विल बी सब्सैक्टेड बाय वी एम सो वी आउट विल बी वी इन माइनस वी एम सो यू कैन सी एट दिस पॉइंट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द इनपुट सिग्नल इज वी एम सो वी विल हैव वी एम एंड दिस माइनस वी एम सो इट विल गिव यू जीरो सो फॉर जीरो टू टी बाय टू जीरो टू टी बाय टू द आउटपुट सिग्नल विल बी जीरो ओके एंड for this t by 2 to t this region the magnitude of the input signal is minus vm so we will have minus vm and this same quantity once this this quantity is not going to change this will be always added or subtracted to the input signal so this is again minus vm so this is giving you minus of 2 vm so for this is for t less than t by 2 greater than 0 and this is for t greater than equal to t oh sorry less than equal to t greater than t by 2 so a straight line because we are giving a square wave straight line of magnitude minus 2 vm okay one, then again we input signal will switch to vm and output signal will switch to vm a minus vm that will zero again minus 2 vm zero so like this so this entire waveform is shifted in the negative direction by this amount vm vm amount okay so you can see that in positive clamper a dc signal is in this case vdc is equal to vm and in this case the v value of vdc is minus vm so from where this dc signal this dc quantity is coming okay in this circuit you can see that there is no dc voltage source we have only ac voltage source and diode and resistor so you know that this capacitor act as a charge storing device okay so this capacitor can store the charge q that will be equal to c into v okay so uh, suppose it has a stored charge q and it is having a capacitance of c so i can derive the voltage value what will be the voltage the difference across its split so v will be given by q divided by c okay so this capacitor is basically acting as a charge storage device and because of this charge q okay it will have some constant value of v that is given by q divided by c across it and that v is acting as a dc signal okay so if if this is the polarity so this capacitor will get charge up to value vm okay and if this is the polarity or second case can be something like this minus plus vm okay magnitude is same the polarity is reversed plus here minus here and in this case minus is at this point point a b a b okay so in this case minus is here plus is here with magnitude vm okay so this plus will contribute to the positive shift towards the output signal and in this case we have plus here minus here and the magnitude will be vm okay so we will derive this how this vm is coming on to this capacitor so this means that we have to allow this capacitor to charge up to this vm value okay initially the capacitor will be discharged and then we have to allow this capacitor to get charge up to this value vm okay so allow capacitor to charge up to vm and it can get charge up to vm only because vm is the maximum input that we are providing it okay so after charging okay after it get charge to vm we want this vm to fix because we want this 
capacitor to behave as a constant DC voltage source. So this means that this capacitor should not get discharged afterward. So don't allow this capacitor. to get discharge two things we have to ensure first we have to allow the capacitor to charge up to the value vm and after this okay after it gets charged we don't want the capacitor to get discharged and if we ensure this if we ensure that capacitor is not getting discharged then it will hold the charge q Okay, it will not get further charge or discharge, so Q will be fixed. So C, Q by C is V, so this V is fixed. Okay, and if this V is fixed, this can behave as a constant DC source. This is the principle that has that is being followed in the clamper circuit. Okay, now allow the capacitor to charge so charging or discharging time charging or discharging time that is proportional to r into c okay so this is the formula that is being taught to you during the plus 2 11th or 12th so charging or discharging time is proportional to r into c okay so we want the capacitor to charge up to v, vm and we want to get it charged instantaneously instant instantaneously okay so i will write all this step in proper way okay so what this to make this happen to make to charge this capacitor up to vm instantaneously okay so you can see in this we cannot manipulate c C is not in our hand. Okay, once we have chosen one capacitor, so the value of C is fixed. So to make this happen, this R should be as small as possible. Okay, so the product of R C will be very small. So charging time will be very very small, and this capacitor will get charged immediately. Okay, so you know that when diode. So what can you do? You can connect in connect this capacitor in such a way that it is getting charged with the help of diode. Why diode? Because diode forward resistance. When diode is in forward bias, its forward resistance is very small. And for ideal diode, it is zero. So if we are considering that the diode is ideal, so zero into C, zero charging time, it will charge immediately. The matter the you will pro, uh, the moment you will provide the input voltage, it will charge up immediately, in no matter of time. Okay, so this is how you can charge this capacitor by using diode. Next, what you can do, you don't. After it gets charged, you don't want to get it discharged. So what you will do? Now you will remove this diode from the circuit. So this the work of this diode is over. We only want this diode to charge this capacitor. Okay. After that, we don't want this capacitor to get discharged. So for this, the discharging time should be very very large. The discharging time should be very very large. So we want a second resistor R with a very large value. Okay, so that will not allow your capacitor to get discharged. So in the experiment, you might have noticed that this was the circuit that we were using. This kind of circuit. So resistor was not there. Resistor was not there means resistance with infinite value. So infinite value means we are not allowing this capacitor to get discharged. This was the meaning of this no resistance. Or even if you have to put resistance, because in practical circuit we have to put uh, some real resistance, the value of this resistance will be very very large. Okay, so this resistor will play that role. Okay, so step by step we will see what will happen. Okay, now I am going to write the points. So steps for clamping action. 
and I will initially take a negative clamper and the same will be applicable to positive clamper. So negative clamper means diode pointing to downward direction in this way with a resistor R and a square wave is given to this circuit like this and the capacitance of this capacitor is C. And across this resistor we will measure our output signals plus is assumed at this point and minus is assumed at the opposite point okay so step by step i am writing what should be uh, what should be what should what is required and what should be done so capacitor should charge instantaneously capacitor should charge instantaneously Okay, and its charging time is, is proportional to R into C, the resistance that is connected in series with that, uh, with this capacitor. Okay, so instantaneously means this R should be small. R should be as small. possible so this is the constraint okay so we know that we know that diode when in on state okay so when a diode when in on state it exhibits very small forward resistance. So we can take the help of diode. Okay, and if the diode is ideal, ideal diode, zero resistance. Okay, so initially we will consider that our diode is ideal. So for ideal diode charging time will be 0 into C 0 it will charge up instantaneously okay now to make this happen the diode should be in on state okay so we have seen that the diode when the diode is on and the diode is ideal, it exhibits zero resistance. So zero into C will make uh, the charging time equal to zero. So it will charge up Im immediately. But how this diode is going to get on? Okay, so for this, what we have to do? Second step, observe input waveform. So what you have to observe? observe the cycle positive or negative so you have to observe the cycle input waveform is a ac waveform it can have either positive cycle or negative high cycle so you have to observe the cycle positive or negative so in observe the input waveform and uh, determine in which cycle the diode is getting on in which cycle the diode will be on so it can be it will be on either in positive or negative okay there is there will be only one case okay so now what you have to do suppose we are talking about this circuit so this is the input waveform so this is your v in and uh, this is uh, this is your input waveform like this okay so generally this is our starting point at t equal to 0 this is your input waveform that is starting from t equal to 0 so one thing you have to assume that okay one thing 
and initially that uh, the capacitor is not charged so you have to assume that a pre charging cycle just one one cycle okay so this is called charging cycle generally uh, during the discussion in some books they have given that uh, this capacitor will get charged during the pre charging cycle and from t equal to 0 the clamping action will start so you can assume that it is valid this assumption is valid so this is charging cycle charging cycle charging cycle for capacitor so we have provided only one cycle so it is having one positive cycle and one negative cycle so you have to determine in which cycle positive or negative in which cycle this diode will be in on state okay so start with this positive cycle so plus will be here initially this capacitor is discharged and the discharge capacitor okay the discharge capacitor act as a straight line this is also a plus 2 concept that a discharge capacitor is uh, will uh, behave like a wire of zero resistance initially uh, so when positive will appear here negative will appear uh, in the downward line you can see that this configuration will drive this diode in on state so for this charging cycle so for in charging cycle okay the diode will be on diode will be on when positive half will appear so when positive half will appear okay so this will be the case plus here minus here we have one capacitor diode is in on state so i am replacing the diode with a simple wire and we have a resistance in parallel so you can see that point a and point b point a and point b are now connected with same wire so this is short circuit okay so this two terminals of resistance are at same voltage so no current can flow because this this is the resistance this is also having voltage v this is means you have connected a wire like this this is a resistance and you have connected a wire like this so no current can flow basically what you have done this is meaning this is like you have connected the two terminals of the resistance itself okay so no current can flow this through this resistor this resistor has no significance in this circuit so you can remove this resistor also so this will be the equivalent circuit okay plus at this point minus at this point a capacitor and diode is on on diode with zero resistance so it will this configuration will charge the capacitor immediately okay it is like you have connected the capacitor directly to the power source dc power source without any resistance so it will charge this capacitor immediately so you will have plus positive charges onto this plate left side plate and negative charges onto this right side plate so this capacitor okay so you can see that the maximum value of this voltage is vm so this voltage source will charge this capacitor plus will be on left at left side plate right uh, minus will be on right side plate and magnitude will be vm and this is the most important thing that you have to determine this magnitude and this polarity because the clamping action totally depends on this this thing this is the quantity that is being added or subtracted to the input signal so this is the most important thing that you have to evaluate so please do it very very carefully okay so that's why i have written in a very i have moved i have derived the things very slowly okay 
so this thing will be done in the positive half cycle now you don't need don't have to analyze during the negative half cycle okay but we can do it what will happen so we can see what will happen during the negative half cycle so during negative half cycle of charging cycle so this will be the configuration now i will draw the circuit minus here plus here your capacitor is charged in this manner vm and you have diode like this and resistance so initially i have drawn the complete circuit and then we will see that what components are not required what components have no no role in now so this is point a this is point b okay so now you see that to turn this diode on even this diode is ideal diode va should be greater than vb to turn diode in on state okay now you can see that these are two voltage sources across this diode at initial stage okay and the this magnitude of this is vm minus here plus here and magnitude on this capacitor is like this plus here minus here so you can see that this polarity will drive this diode into off state okay so but diode will be diode will be off in this case so you can see that minus is here plus is here so this is this is the condition for reverse bias so diode will be off like this so now i have removed the diode diode is diode is having no role uh, during the negative charging cycle now this is the equivalent circuit a voltage source capacitance and the resistor okay so now you can see that on to the left hand plate we have positive charge and now uh, we are providing a negative supply to this so this capacitor should get discharged okay according to this configuration there should be negative on this now negative should accumulate on this plate and positive should accumulate on this plate yes chirag uh, sir can you explain this part again sir during the negative half cycle of charging cycle uh, the mm. voltage of uh, voltage of this voltage source is vm and for the capacitor also vm this Not is this uh, this is the negative cycle negative cycle and the magnitude of this is minus vm we are providing a square wave so either it can be plus vm or it can be minus vm uh, sir okay. the how the result diode will be in off state can you explain that part again we have this diode okay sir okay so plus is connected to its n side and this minus is connected to its c side okay and you if you apply you will calculate this sum so this is your diode so here we have minus 2 vm okay the total difference of this is minus here plus here Two uh, vm because of this vm plus vm will give you two vm and minus will be here plus will be here. So plus is connected to n side and negative is connected to p sides. So this is the condition for reverse bias. So your diode will be off. Va is less than vb and uh, va minus vb is minus two vm. This is the case. Okay. Even if this capacitor is not present, you can ignore this capacitor. Even this capacitor is not present, so minus will be connected to P side, plus will be connected to N side. So this diode will be in off state. And additional volt, additional, this capacitor is supporting this reverse bias state. So this is this is the reason why this will be in off state. Or cause here. Uh, Rishabh, okay. 
ये सुरेश अरे कार्ड तो हम नेगेटिव क्लिपर का केस रहे हैं ना अभी हां नेगेटिव क्लिपर नेगेटिव क्लिपर का कर रहे हैं बिल्कुल ठीक है ओके सो योर डायोड विल बी इन ऑफ सीड सो आई हैव रिमूव्ड द डायोड ऑफ डायोड इज ऑलवेज रिप्लेस्ड बाय ओपन सर्किट ओके सो now this capacitor can discharge okay dhyan se dekhna this capacitor can discharge because minus is now connected to this left hand plate and plus is now connected to right hand plate okay so this capacitor should discharge okay and the discharging path will be something like this discharging time because this resistance is connected in uh, with this uh, capacitor in series so discharging time will be proportional to r into c okay so we want that this capacitor should not get discharged so for this reason this r should be as large as possible why i am writing possible i we can have any value infinite value okay but we we have to keep uh, we have to keep uh, other parameter also in control uh, like power dissipation area there are many other parameters that is beyond the scope of this subject that uh, that can be discussed so depending on all the design specification uh, this value of r is fixed so we should keep the maximum possible value that will prevent this capacitor from getting discharged so this is the reason why we want this r r as large as possible and also there is a constraint okay also there is one uh, constraint that uh, if uh, t is the time period of your input waveform waveform okay so this T by two should be less than or equal to five RC. We are RC is your discharging time. Okay, again this derivation is beyond the scope of this subject, so you have to remember this. So T by two. So if this is your input wave, this is your input wave with time period. t so this will be t by 2 so this t by 2 should be very very less than 5 rc okay so what is happening that during positive cycle your diode was on capacitor get charged negative cycle will appear in this cycle your capacitor can discharge so one thing what we have done we have kept this value very large that is preventing the discharge and the second thing what we are doing this t by 2 duration we are keeping this very small so t by 2 should be smaller than 5 rc okay so this r is preventing your capacitor to get discharged and also we are not giving sufficient time because if this time is very large if this time is infinite so your capacitor can gradually get discharged so keeping this time as small as possible you are preventing your capacitor from discharging then again positive cycle will appear that will support the charge on the capacitor then again negative cycle will appear okay so this t by 2 this t by 2 is very small so that will prevent your capacitor to from getting discharged okay so because of all this uh, constraint during the negative charging cycle this will not change okay this will not change this will be fixed yes chirag Yes, Anshit. So, can you please repeat T by two concept in negative cycle? Can <coughs> T by two? What is it? Look, which our time period is, it is T. Okay, which our time period is, it is T here. Yes, sir. So, in this T by two cycle, the capacitor will be charged, and in this T by two cycle, the probability is that it will discharge. 
देखो क्योंकि यहाँ पे प्लस है माइनस है और अब हमने उसको ऐसे सोर्स से कनेक्ट कर दिया जिसमें यहाँ उल्टा पोलरिटी आ रहा है तो ये एक वोल्टेज सोर्स क्या कोशिश करेगा कि इस प्लेट पे नेगेटिव चार्ज आ जाए और इस प्लेट पे पॉजिटिव चार्ज आ जाए ठीक है ये बिल्कुल ये पोलैरिटी अपोजिट हो गया उसमें पहले इस इस मैनर में चार्ज स्टोर था और पहले आपका कैपेसिटर ऐसे था प्लस इधर था माइनस इधर था अब अचानक से आपने क्या कर दिया माइनस इधर कर दिया प्लस इधर कर दिया तो ये चार्ज को रिवर्स करने की कोशिश करेगा तो हमें इससे बचना है हम चाहते हैं कि जो पहले वीएम आया है वो चेंज ना हो सेम एज इट इज रहे तो दो चीज करनी होगी पहले तो जो इसका डिस्चार्जिंग टाइम है अच्छा अब ये डिस्चार्ज होगा मतलब देखो ये पॉजिटिव है दिस पॉजिटिव विल अट्रैक्ट द नेगेटिव चार्ज फ्रॉम दिस साइकिल तो इलेक्ट्रॉन ऐसे फ्लो करके रेजिस्टेंस से यहाँ जाएंगे और ये पॉजिटिव चार्ज इसमें जाएंगे तो दिस प्रोसेस विल टेक सम टाइम ओके फिर ये जीरो पे आ जाएगा ठीक है सारा इसमें से सारा चार्ज इसमें आ जाएगा और फिर ये रिवर्स डायरेक्शन में चार्ज होना चालू होगा तो हम वो नहीं चाहते अगर हमने इसको बहुत लंबे टाइम के लिए छोड़ दिया तो क्या होगा इस तरह से हो जाएगा माइनस इधर आ जाएगा प्लस इधर आ जाएगा और ये पोलैरिटी हो जाएगी क्योंकि ये माइनस से कनेक्ट है ये प्लस से कनेक्ट है yes. तो हम ये नहीं चाहते हम चाहते हैं कि ये वी बना रहे तो इसके लिए क्या करना होगा इसको डिस्चार्ज होने का हम टाइम ही ना दे ठीक है तो वो हम कैसे इंश्योर कर सकते हैं कि ये डिस्चार्ज हो ही ना पाए तो देखो डिस्चार्जिंग टाइम इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू दिस आर दिस आर विल बी इन सीरीज विद दिस सी तो डिस्चार्जिंग टाइम को हमें ज्यादा से ज्यादा करना है तो दो पैरामीटर हमारे हाथ में है एक तो ये एक्सटर्नल रेजिस्टेंस ठीक है इसको हम बढ़ा देते हैं तो ये कैपेसिटर बहुत टाइम लगाएगा डिस्चार्ज होने में क्योंकि रेजिस्टेंस अब चार्ज इलेक्ट्रॉन जो फ्लो होगा उसको ज्यादा रेजिस्टेंस मिलेगा पाथ में तो उतने फ्रीक्वेंटली वो फ्लो नहीं कर पाएगा एक चीज तो ये हमने कर दिया दूसरी चीज क्या कर दिया कि इस ड्यूरेशन में वो डिस्चार्ज हो रहा है ठीक है सपोज इस इतने ड्यूरेशन में डिस्चार्ज हो रहा है तो हम उसको ये टाइम को कितना कम से कम रख सकते हैं हम इस टाइम को जितना कम रखेंगे उतना उसको कम मौका मिलेगा डिस्चार्ज होने का और अगर हमने इस टाइम को दैट इज टी बाई टू को ये फाइव आर सी फाइव इंटू आर इंटू सी योर आर इंटू सी इज डिस्चार्जिंग टाइम एंड दैट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फाइव अगर हमने ये रख दिया जिसका प्रूफ हम हमें यहाँ नहीं करना है इसके इस स्कोप के बियॉन्ड है ठीक है ये डायरेक्ट आपको याद रखना है की इस टी बाई टू को हमें कम से कम कितना रखना है के बराबर इससे बड़ा नहीं होना चाहिए वो तो t by 2 should be at least equal to 10 RC. इससे ज़्यादा नहीं होना चाहिए ठीक है सपोज आपका रेजिस्टेंस वन किलो ओम है वन ओम है कैपेसिटेंस वन फेराड है तो आपका टाइम पीरियड जो है वो टेन टेन सेकेंड से ज्यादा नहीं होना चाहिए टेन सेकेंड से कम कितना okay. भी हो सकता है ये आपका इनपुट वेब फॉर्म है और आपने रेजिस्टेंस यूज किया है वन ओम का कैपेसिटेंस यूज किया है वन फेराड का तो आप जो स्क्वायर वेव प्रोवाइड कर रहे हो उसका टी शुड बी टेन सेकेंड मतलब दिस कंप्लीट टी शुड बी इक्वल टू टेन सेकेंड तो टी बाई टू क्या हो गया फाइव सेकेंड फाइव सेकेंड फाइव सेकेंड तो आप इसको फाइव सेकेंड से कम रख दो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है आप उसको वन रख दो टू रख दो थ्री रख दो पर आपने इसको सिक्स सेकेंड रख दिया तो ये कैपेसिटर डिस्चार्ज होने लगेगा उसमें भी वो चार्ज होल्ड नहीं हो पाएगा ठीक है This is the तो हमने दो चीज करी एक तो हमने ये इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्लो को रोका एक्सटर्नल रेजिस्टेंस की वैल्यू ज्यादा रख के और जो टाइम ड्यूरेशन जिस टाइम ड्यूरेशन में उसको ये ये इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्लो रिवर्स डायरेक्शन में होना था वो हमने कम से कम रखा और वो किसी मैथमेटिकल प्रोसेस से हमने डिटरमाइन कर लिया कि ये कंडीशन होनी चाहिए ठीक है yes. so, because of this constraint, because of this constraint, uh, okay also you can write also time period of input wave form t by 2 should be okay so this this two constant t by 2 less than equal to 5 rc this is the first one and second large value of r that this two constant will prevent your capacitor prevent capacitor from discharging 
एंड दिस स्टेट विल बी दिस स्टेट विल होल्ड ये चेंज नहीं होगा वी एम था तो वी एम ही रहेगा देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम ओके सो ये हो गया आपके चार्जिंग साइकिल में दिस इज द ओवरऑल प्रोसेस सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू ओके सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व द इनपुट वे फॉर्म ऑब्जर्व द साइकिल पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव ओके सो दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट टू डिटरमाइन बिकॉज इन विच साइकिल योर डायड विल बी ऑन and uh, the capacitor will get charge through the diode immediately whatever is the maximum value of input it will charge up to this value so you can see that it is getting charged up to plus vm and then we have also analyzed in negative cycle where it can get this charge so this r is very large and this time period of this input waveform is very small so this two constant will prevent your capacitor from getting discharged the okay, time kitna bacha hai 29. Okay, so almost time is up. तो बाकी इसके आगे इतना आप प्लीज रिवाइज करना ये रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर में शेयर कर देता हूँ इसके आगे हम जो हमारा नेक्स्ट लेक्चर है वहां पे करेंगे इसके आगे बस अब कुछ बचा नहीं सिंपल के वी एल लगाना है ये फिक्स हो गया पॉजिटिव में वी एम रहेगा नेगेटिव में डिस्चार्ज नहीं होगा ये आपका डायोड एप्लीकेशन बॉय स्टेड में है डायोड एप्लीकेशन उसी के अंडर आ रहा है थर्ड है थर्ड है आई थिंक ये हमने अब तक कितने चैप्टर किए अभी तक हमने थर्ड वाला चल रहा है थर्ड एंड होने के करीब है हां सिक्स चैप्टर्स है कर अराउंड टोटल ए ये टोटल ईएसटी तक अभी ईएसटी दैट कैन बी मॉडिफाइड अभी मैं उस पे कुछ कमेंट नहीं करूंगा कि ये सिक्स है या फाइव है दैट कैन बी मॉडिफाइड वो टीचर्स फैकल्टी और स्टूडेंट के बीच का वो होता है तो ठीक है अभी उस चीज के लिए वरी मत करो आप ठीक है Okay so see you uh, on Tuesday uh, Srijan Yes Srijan Sir jo pehle teen chapters hai wo book se specific matlab pages padhne hai ke sare padhne padenge Dekho aapko sara maine maine to sara apna notes share kiya hai aur recorded lecture share kiya hai to wo 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 to refer karke aap utna book se pad sakte ho baki additional aap book se pad sakte ho koi problem nahi hai नहीं मतलब सर अगर जो पीपीटीज वगैरह है वो सफिशियंट होंगी पेपर्स के लिए कि बुक से एक्स्ट्रा पढ़ना पड़ेगा ऑफ कोर्स यार बीइंग अ टीचर आई विल ऑलवेज सी दैट यू शुड रेफर बुक ये हैबिट तो कभी डालो ही मत यार यू आर अ स्टूडेंट और आपको हमेशा सीखना है ठीक है तो बुक से हमेशा पढ़ना चाहिए ठीक है यस गुनीत सर इज टुमारो हॉलिडे इट इज मेंशनड इन आवर यस इट इज अ हॉलिडे इट शुड बी हॉलिडे एंड वी आर आल्सो Uh, waiting for doa sir will but it should be holiday jitne bhi academics mein abhi holiday likha hai usme off raha hai theek hai okay so see you on monday i have taken one extra minute